Look at this beautiful picture. Look at the scene. Characters, their outfits, their appearance, their expressions. Notice background picture and landscape or building elements introduced by the painter. When Nicholas Lankrit painted this picture titled Earth, in the first third of the 18th century, he was not aware that years later we would intend to know some fundamental features of life, society and culture of what was called the old regime. The order of the Marquis of Beringen was converted by Lankrit in a friendly and idyllic scene of contact with nature and enjoyable life. A relaxed lifestyle in which leisure and inconsistency became the protagonists. However, the picture, without the artist's awareness, can also be realized as a contrast, a duality that is really useful to understand the final stage of modern history. Work and leisure, the rough and basic country world versus the palatial refinement of the nobility. Two social groups complemented unequally as the work of one of them allows the maintenance of the other. The aristocratic characters represented in the painting receive the gifts. They are fruits from the earth accepted with full assurance of being the real and rightful owners. They, willingly, accumulate and select and give them away. Drawing a diagonal in the picture, we could get to some interesting conclusions of this unequal social polarity. The austerity of peasants' clothing contrasts with the frivolous ostentation of those who accumulate the fruits of the earth. The world of work against consumption and playful aristocratic passivity. The anonymity of characters who do not show their faces opposite the well-defined figures in the painting. Stereotyped poses against forced poses of manual workers. Rudeness versus elegance the rugged and dehumanized landscape faces a nature dominated by a humanized landscape, where the glass becomes an invitation to enjoy the goods and where the source of wealth provides nobles the possibility to enjoy richness. The whole world revolving around them. In short, this Rococo picture is an altarpiece an icon that sets the privileges of nobility, the high clergy and the king, the unequal 18th society. Against the pride of establishment, so well represented in the picture, is the majority of society. More than 90% of the population, a resigned society of peasants and manual workers who mostly have not more than the strength of their worth to survive. A society in pyramidal hierarchy in which the privileged classes base their existence on the work of those who have their hands just as unique heritage. 
There are many other representations we could find to observe this unequal social role. Rococo art is at the service of patrons who can afford the work of artists working in the country that dominates the politics and culture of the time. France, Jean Antoine Watteau, in his composition Embarkation for Cythera Island of 1718. Insists in this society concerned with pleasure, passion, and carnal desire. Within the gallant style, full of sensuality, the colors are bright, creating tactic, tactile effects on the figures, and nature creating a warmly sensual atmosphere. Mythology approaches the current world of the time to tell us how couples enjoying the earthly pleasures pilgrimage or return from the island of Kythera, the sacred island of the goddess of love, Venus. Besides her, her son Cupid still wounds the hearts of lovers. We attend the outdoor galanties parties. That was so successful in this new Rococo style that aims to seduce a select audience. Francois Boucher insists in the temptation of pleasure through the portrait, painted in 1751. One of his models even became mistress of King Louis the Ninth. A set of textures of fabrics in contrast to the pearly skin of young Irish Louis O'Murphy offers us a mosaic of primary colours that are attenuated for this most proper technique effect than the oil pastel which it is executed. Another feature of this style in the service of a tiny but powerful part of society. A closed society itself, as it is also the scene of the picture. Swing by Jean Onro Fruganard, dated 1767, is our last social portrait dedicated to the aristocracy. In this case, the pleasure is not obvious, but is subtly reflected through a scene of easy identification. The shoe that portends a naked two gentlemen participating in the swing of a lady pushing and obviously watching her daring. The dog, symbol of fidelity, barking desperately while Cupid statues of the garden strengthen the attitude of the participants in the scene. The faded pink dress and the lady's light skin contrast with the intense dark green foliage background in which the scene is wrapped. There are not many peasants in the art of the 18th century, and when they do appear, only do it anecdotally, as we have seen. However. We need to think they are the social counterpoint to the society concerned with pleasure. Consequently, we will use a picture of Louis Lenain, titled "Family Farmers," painted in 1640. This Baroque painter of genre scenes of peasants almost anticipates the realistic style of the 19th century and portrays a world without luxuries, despite hardship. They count with the dignity of a world dominating the activity, and although in this picture their work is not reflected, it can be deduced by the austerity of the scene, which also receives the suggestive title, "The Return of Baptism." The smiling figures must feel proud of the gains of what they have worked. Smiles in complicity with the audience, who is encouraged with some characters turned back. The day after the party, we will be predictably different, intense, and dedicated to the Lord's work. Another day in which must, in which much of the grains will be in the hands of those who earn a lot more than needed, and just to have to collect taxes arbitrarily, as laws allow them to do. 
Clergy and nobility are the real owners of the means of production, manage the so-called aristocratic or feudal system. At the base of the social pyramid would be the most underprivileged, those who hardly survive, who are affected by crisis more aggressively, who may not be able to get the basics, the poor. Such widespread poverty that some artists do not hesitate to portray, even finding in it a melancholy not without beauty. In this painting entitled Children Playing Dice, by Bartolom Esteban Murillo, we can be aware of the existence of this social group in which children are sad protagonists. Above all, king dominates power. He was born to be king. In France, his power of divine origin is justified and gives him personal ability to execute and judge with some undeniable laws. Powerful kings sometimes capricious, others more responsible, and industrious, surrounded by luxury in a court that does nothing but increase in costs. Armies, military campaigns, palatial luxuries will require money which diminish royal coffers. This will mean a gradual deterioration throughout the 18th century. Several finance ministers will try unsuccessfully alternatives that will not solve the economic problem. It will eventually be the epicenter of a cataclysm that will initiate the changes in the late 18th century. Everything begins to change. A new world and a new society emerges. Contemporary society.